Greetings, Taco Faithful. Thank you for joining me again this week. Once again, it's Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief. And Bryce Duncan. And we're here to kick off the new Advice Corner segment mm. right here on Otaku Symbol Weekly. And as always, or rather for the first time, here to kick off the new Advice Corner segment. Mm -hmm. So, got our first Advice Corner topic. Dun dun dun. All right, and it says, <coughs> sup, Larry? My topic for the advice corner is this. I'm typically the loner type. I understand. <laughs> sure. I find it more pleasing to be in my own company than in other people's, in other people's. So I rarely really find someone I feel compulsion to be around. Mm -hmm. However, there is one girl I really like. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, man. We've been friends since seventh grade, and we both just finished our senior year. Oh shit, they got history. Oh, man, five years worth. Six. So, I can't do math. I'm sorry. Yes. Go and ahead. I and I've asked her out this year, and she said she couldn't date me due to school issues. Mm. Not even a few months later, I find she's dating a friend of mine. I'm pissed because I found out she lied to me, but also a bit depressed about that as well. Besides the typical gotta move on advice, has this ever happened to you or someone you know and do you have any tips to deal with the situation? Mm -hmm. well, we can help this young brother. We can help him. Cause what's this guy's name or is it anonymous? It's anonymous. Oh, okay. All of the advice corner will be anonymous. Okay. But, but, but I will say he is one of the Otaku faithful. Actually, one of my first 100 subscribers. Alright, man. Well, first... Well, I mean, the funny thing is, though, he said, has this happened to you or anyone you know? This shit happened to me multiple times. Yeah, it's And to, to someone too. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, first, man, you gotta move on. <laughs> <laughs> man, don't tell that man that shit. No, no, no. no. okay. Event well, eventually. Nah, nah, um... Mm -hmm. Pretty, well, well, no, no. In all honesty, in all honesty, here's the thing. My advice, or do you want to start? Uh, you can go, you can go first. All right, oh, I'll man. start, I'll start. My advice, as cliche as it sounds, but it, no, in all honesty, it is to move on. It is to move on. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you why I'm saying this. Now, although you and this girl have had history, you know, six years worth, you know, uh, middle school, high school, mm -hmm. but guess what? When you get to college, Unless both of you are going to the same school, that shit doesn't even matter. Yeah. All those six years will become. What I'm saying is, yo, yo. Unless, unless you, unless you, unless you two plan on remaining friends and remaining in touch, mm -hmm. if you two are going to different schools, one, you're automatically going to fall out of contact. Yeah. You, you two will already begin to. Uh, your relationship will already begin to, to disassociate because you're at two different schools yeah. and when you go to a new school, you know, you assimilate yourself in either, Oh yeah. you know, you assimilate yourself in the social. Yeah. And um, it's, yeah. And it's not, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't have to do with your friendship ending on bad terms. It just has to do with, you know, people move away, they make new friends. Yeah. Exactly. Go, separated by distance. You will, you will naturally grow apart. Right. And even if you do go to the same school, unless you plan on keeping the same social circle, you will grow apart. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, dude, when I say just move on, it's because by the time you go to college, it won't matter. Mm. It really won't. It, and dude, it, and the thing is, you two aren't together. Mm -hmm. You aren't a couple. If you were a couple, that's the only thing that would keep your relationship together once you go off to college. Yeah. But even that's not guaranteed. Why? Because couples, you know, high school sweethearts who go to different colleges, that shit happens yeah. all the time. They always yeah, break up. Because, well, I mean, you're, you're 18 years old, you're coming of age, you're transitioning into adulthood with your end of, with probably being more independent and all that stuff and you're meeting and meeting new people and learning new things about yourself. So yep. I mean and, and, and you're gonna you're gonna wanna meet new women. You well, no correction, you're gonna meet new women regardless of if yeah. you want to or not. Unless you are a complete shut in, yeah. you are gonna meet new women. Yeah. If you're a red blooded male, you're gonna wanna bust you some nuts. Yeah. And you got Even, four years worth of this. Yeah. Even for loners like us. <laughs> well, you got you got four years of this mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So what? So pretty much what I'm saying is, what you're going through right now, that's all high school crush. Yeah. When you shut 
show up on campus, mm -hmm. it, it's not going to matter. I mean, yeah, largely, largely I agree with that, you know, um, because, you know, a, a, a lot of the people, whether they be men or women, whoever, you know, I mean, I, I, I hang out still with some people from high school, but most of those people I don't, I don't know too well, so I mean, that's just a natural part of growing up and moving forward in your life. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say give up on it entirely, because I mean, you know, you have you have six years worth of friendship. Now the problem is, uh, you know, you have feelings for a person. The problem is, okay, do I run the risk of making the friendship potentially awkward by asserting my feelings, or do I hide, or do I just, you know, not run that risk and keep it to myself? You know, well, that's a that's a tough uh, question to answer sometimes because um, I think for both of us, you know. Uh, uh, we've had friends who we were close with, and we let them know we, we let them uh, know how we felt, and then and it and it didn't work out and made things awkward. So then of course, so then of course, naturally, that shit don't ever happen to me. Oh, it did. Mm. You talking about with a female friend? Yeah. That I'm close to, and I let them know how I feel, and then it, the relationship gets awkward. At, yeah, after that. No. Oh well, because because I because I I'm sorry I don't mean to speak for no 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 because 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 if I'm interested not no not not granted if there is a a a, a, a woman I am interested in mm -hmm. yeah I do want to be friends with her you know I, beforehand you know, I, yeah, yeah beforehand yeah but I always let them know I'm interested in them from jump yeah no because but, because if you don't you'll fuck around and get friend zoned well yeah you will but I mean but I'm just saying if if it's the case where you where you let your feelings known. And then it and then it becomes awkward, or she doesn't know how to act around you. Uh, then of course you kick yourself in the ass and say, "Oh shit, I shouldn't have said anything." But I mean, but if you never say anything, then you always keep it to yourself. So I mean, yeah, you got to get it out, man. Yeah, you, 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 it's it's, it, it's better to let a person know how you really feel about them because if because if they really are a true good friend, they'll appreciate that that you're honest with them. Uh, you shouldn't hide that. Exactly. Them. Um. Now, uh, now, as far as like you know, experience with this type of topic, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you my story. Let me tell you my story right quick. Um, when uh, when I was in eighth grade, you know, I had you know I had my friends, I had you know I had my clique, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we uh, we started including um, a group of girls, you know, because um, we yeah. were all interested in different, you know, in, in them and stuff like that. And uh, there was one girl that I became friends with because mm -hmm. she was my, my friend's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You know, we became good friends and I liked her, but she was dating my friend. And you know, my dad always told me, always told me since I was a little boy, never let a female come between you and your homeboys. Right. Don't do that. So I just backed off, mm -hmm. you know, I just backed off and you know, just let that happen. So come freshman year, you know, we go to, uh, you know, we all disperse, go to different high schools and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, actually, I take that back. No, uh, me and, and the friend in question, uh, um, the, the girl in question, uh -huh. her boyfriend, who was my friend, right. me and him went to the same high school. Yeah. Her and some of our other friends went to another one. Mm -hmm. So we weren't all at the same school. Anyway, well, I ended up telling her freshman year that you know I was interested in her, that I liked her and whatnot, mm -hmm. and uh, and you know she was flattered and all that jazz, but we still remained friends, mainly because what I was doing was I was actually trying to get her and my friend back together. Mm -hmm. So fast forward to uh, wait, sophomore you, year. Wait, you say you're trying to get you were trying to get her and your friend back together? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, freshman year in high school, I was trying to get them two back together because they had broken up. Huh? Classic friends. Zone. I know, classic friends. <laughs> classic friends. Well, yeah. I, I didn't know what the friends on was back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So fast forward to sophomore year. Mm -hmm. Um, they're not getting back together. Mm -hmm. All right, it's, it's just it's just not gonna happen. Right. So that's when I start to you know be like, okay, well you know maybe me and her can hook up. But she had told me she didn't want to date anybody. Mm -hmm. Didn't you know? Didn't want to date anybody. Just wanted to be single. Right. I respected her wishes, so on and so forth. Right. right. The fast forward to the summer before junior year, mm -hmm. I found out um, she had been dating somebody for like six months. Right. So she and lied never to told you. me. Yeah. And she yeah she straight up lied to me. Told me that she wasn't dating anybody at all, 
and this is any other. Now, see, the funny thing is, this is kind of my first experience with cheating. Now, you can go ahead and say, well, Larry, that's not cheating because y'all were never together to begin with, right? Yeah. But here's my thing. If we were just friends, mm -hmm. right, in, in the platonic sense, if we were just friends, right. why would you feel the need to lie to me for six months about seeing somebody? It, it shouldn't have mattered, right? Well, because we're not together. Well, no, but well, wait, did... She knew that you liked her, but she still lied to you. Oh, she, dude, she knew for like two years. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, that's not, I wouldn't call that cheating in the typical sense of cheating, but it's still dishonest. Dude, we, we even went out on a date. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's still dishonesty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's still dishonest. Now, granted, the guy that she was seeing, he wasn't a friend of mine. I didn't know the guy. Didn't know him. Yeah. But... You know that that, that yeah. You know, part of me never really got over that. Yeah. And, and 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 it's one of the reasons you know that I you know that is one of the reasons I do have trust issues. Yeah. Because because of shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know. Um. So, but but I mean, dude. Hell, it didn't even take me, dude. It wait that happened. That happened the summer. No, I, I lied. That didn't happen the summer of my junior uh before junior year. That happened the summer before senior year mm -hmm. because uh because the thing was me and her had uh you know we had uh lost contact for a while after katrina right and then you know we you know ended up getting contact again and i was scrambling and you know keep up with her and stuff like that yeah so uh so no so this thing this, you know this happened for like three yeah. years damn near the majority of high school yeah yeah you you had a lot of the emotional baggage mm -hmm. because, because you were putting a lot of energy into it and the mm -hmm. intensity was there but it wasn't being you weren't being that halfway mm -hmm. yeah so I mean yeah and that's what and uh, um, um, and that's what sucks about situations like this uh, and not not wait but, but before that I don't mean to cut you off go ahead man. but uh, but to wrap up the story pretty much yeah. um you know, th this is kind of the same thing. This is a chick I knew for four years, for the majority of middle school and high school, and this shit happened to me. Mm -hmm. But the good thing was, dude, this shit didn't even last six months. Because um, this was the summer before senior year. Dude, uh -huh. I was dating somebody by January of senior year. Uh -huh. Now that was a, now that's <laughs> a, a story. What happened with that thing is a story for a whole other video. Yeah, you can make a series of videos on that. Because that shit's still going on right now. <laughs> That's yeah. still going on right now with the same person. Yeah. So, uh, so you want to talk about baggage, man? That's like what, fucking five, six and a half years worth? Mm-hmm. So, no, that yeah, I can make a whole series of videos on that. But but pretty much with the high school thing, it didn't even last six months, man. Mm -hmm. Didn't even last six months. I was completely over her. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying, dude. Move on. You you are in the perfect situation mm -hmm. to where this this won't you know yeah and hey and hey man you know i was i was maybe gonna save this for the end you know who knows uh because y'all are y'all are young and like i said coming of age for all you know man she might uh you know maybe if you you know keep in contact with her maybe a little bit here and there just to keep tabs on her maybe she'll see you differently in a couple years or so and i know that sounds sh that sounds shitty right now because it sounds overly optimistic. Well, no. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay. Well, that, that seems overly. Because you got to figure, he's known this chick six years. True. And true. all of a sudden, she's going to start seeing him in a different light? No. Yeah, but I mean, but. Old habits die hard. Yeah, you know? old habits die hard, but they're. But I mean, they're going to come of age. Y'all are coming of age. So, I mean, who knows how she'll feel later. I yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. Highly improbable. Though. Yeah. Well, no. yeah, impo impo yeah. Not, not possible. Not possible. I'm not saying it's not possible, but yeah. it's highly improbable. Yeah. yeah. So, and um, and then basically, uh, my situation... Is that your... Go ahead. Yeah, no. And, you know, uh, my experience with this um, was... Um, just this girl that I knew in college, and it was just a general thing of, um, I, uh, at the time that it was occurring, I probably shouldn't have been uh, messing around with any women regardless, because I was going through my adjustment to blindness and all the emotional shit that comes along with that. So I, I, I wasn't in any proper place to, uh, properly pro proper place to properly judge. Wow, that's great. Uh, no, uh, 
to uh, to objectively judge things for what it was. And I mean, and it was just uh, your fairly standard uh, friend zone thing. The girl didn't know uh, what she wanted or who she wanted, and and I didn't know what the hell I was doing either. And and like I was saying earlier, it um, you know, for me. Uh, it kind of went down in flames. It took me a long time to realize that it wasn't going to work out. Uh, something that I knew in my head that I still wanted to force and you know fix and make better and everything like that, but it didn't work out. So it, uh, like I said earlier, you know, it had, it kind of had all the emotional baggage of a breakup, even though we weren't together. You were never together. Yeah, yeah. But and you know, I mean, hey, I mean, women. Everybody our age can do this. Women do it to men. Men do it to women. They might go about it differently, uh, but you know everybody does it to everybody else. Because at, at some point, unless unless you really are cold-blooded, you probably will fall head over heels for somebody that might not be as good for you as you want to think. Mm -hmm. and, and it is from that that you learn and hopefully you don't do that to somebody else mm -hmm. because that is shitty mm -hmm. you know and hopefully um preach ho preach preach up hopefully you become um you know don't don't be cynical don't be gullible uh, be yeah be wise without being jaded uh, hopefully it's just something that you can take with and learn from and um you know i know it's painful but you know you will you will get past it uh now let me ask you this, because see, I noticed, I noticed as a part of your story, you omitted, hmm. because your story hmm. actually ties in exactly with this, with 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 uh with this guy, where the 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 woman you were interested in shacked up with your homeboy and a really good friend at that, a mutual friend of ours. You yeah. see what I'm saying? See, my situation didn't have that, but yeah. yours did. Yeah, but I mean. I was, yeah, it, that that was that was upsetting. But I mean, but it, I mean, I'm not going to go into all the details of that. But I mean, but I actually ended up getting over that part of it fairly quickly for reasons that I won't go into. But yeah, I mean, that 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 was upsetting at the time, obviously. Uh, but I mean, but regardless, it would have been upsetting no matter who it was, though. So I mean, um, yeah, but 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 I mean, but because you remember my whole stance on that thing. Yeah. Um, me and the friend in question, mm -hmm. you know, we we felt we 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 didn't have a falling out, but we we grew, we grew apart at an accelerated rate. Because, because I took your side on that. Right. Because it's like I said earlier in this video, you do not let a woman come in between you and your homeboys. Yeah. And that's what I, and I felt like he slighted you on that. And so, no, I, I had your back 100. I was absolute in that. There was no middle ground. There was no shades of gray. There was a right and a wrong. And I still, to this day, mm -hmm. thinks that what he did was wrong. Yeah. I mean, you know, it. Like I said, I mean, it was, it, it was upsetting, but I mean, um, I, well, at this point, well, at this point, this was a while ago, I don't, I don't care anymore, and I mean, uh, uh yeah, I mean, this, this, this yeah. happened years ago. But, but honestly, I mean, well, I, I think at this point, and, um, I, I think at this point, you're probably more intense about it than me, uh, well, cause, cause my, cause I haven't, my thoughts on it haven't changed. Yeah, yeah, and, I don't know, of course, but, Thank you, though. <laughs> no, but, uh, so anyway, I always have my boys back. Yeah, um, so yeah, and the whole, you know, expressing your, back to what we were saying earlier, you know, you're good friends, but, um, you know, again, you should, um, you should always express how you feel, I think, um, you know, not, I mean, don't, don't be a total dweeb about it or dork, you know, like, I think I really like you, you know, don't, I mean, don't, don't, don't be a fucking creep about the thing, but, you know, just, let her know that you know how you feel and whatnot, because that's better than hiding it inside and you know never knowing. It's it's always better to have a definite answer yes. of yes or no, mm -hmm. and and deal with the potential disappointment of being rejected mm -hmm. than to have that unknown. Well, maybe this, maybe that. You know, don't yeah, because don't, don't go through that term. Because do, because do, because do. You remember, uh, you remember the woman I was interested in sophomore year. Mm -hmm. That, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And see, 
me and her are still friends now, mm -hmm. you know? But the reason for that was because she was honest with me and she was straight. Right. She was I, I told her and she was like, uh, she was like, Larry, you're a good friend, but I'm not romantically interested in you. Right. And yeah, I was pissed off about it. Yeah, it took me a while to get over it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at least she was honest. At least she told me right then and there, definitively, no, not mm -hmm. happening. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now she pussyfooted, you know, years later, she pussyfooted around about the possibility. Right. But, but then again, it's like I say, if she wanted to, she would have let me know. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 I, th and I think that goes... With any woman and with any man, oh, if, yeah. if they're interested in you, they will let you know. Yeah, and 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 in my case, you know, the person, uh, the person, you know, she um, she'd say one thing, but she did another. But hey, I mean, you know, that's uh, that's just being the age that we're at, and I think a lot of people do that. And um, you know, so I mean, I'm. I'm forgiving of it. I'm, I'm not saying that it was right, but I'm just, it's its okay, you know, now. Um, I, you know, I, I eventually moved on from it. It took a long ass time, though. I was upset about that. Before. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. but but then again, that was like, I mean, that was that was your first experience with that type of thing, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. And yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, because I, I, I fucking didn't dealt with shit like that all throughout high school and shit. So, oh, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm accustomed to the shit now. I was new to the game and I was dealing with all types of other emotional crap on top of it so I mean uh, yeah it was it was hard but hey man you know you just gotta whether you whether you pray or whatever whatever you use or do you know you just gotta um, you just gotta move on from it by um, not talking to the person uh, probably for a good time you know distance distance, distance helps yeah, you know keep, keep your distance, distance as much uh, you know sadly I mean what you learn from these types of experiences is sadly you don't have as much influence on a person as you might like to think you do. That um, is true. And and if it gets to a point where you're trying to push them to conform to some expectations that you have for them, it'll never work. Then it, then it won't work. You cannot work. you cannot force the issue. And that's and in my case that's what ended up happening. You know, I was, um, you know, I, I was upset, and and it got to the point where I was so angry that all I did around the person was I argued with them, and that's that's not healthy. You know, and even, and and I know you're upset, man, and you're probably angry, and you know, but one thing you got to remember, man, even if your anger is understandable, it's not healthy to feel that, man. You know, even if you can justify it and rationalize it, and you can. And we can empathize with what you're going through. You got you got to let that go as best you can. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's shitty and it sucks, but you will um, you will move on. Hopefully, you'll meet somebody uh, meet somebody new. Uh, or hell, who knows? I don't think it's very likely. Like we said earlier, but maybe this girl will see you in a different light years from now. Who knows, man? Mm -hmm. Don't speak too soon, for the wheel is still in spin, and there's no telling who that it's named. Dash dash Bob Dylan. I will I will tell you I will tell you this though man if you if 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 the whole moving on process finding somebody new isn't cathartic enough cathartic ca yeah. thank you yeah. cathartic enough yeah. make sure whoever it is you find is finer than that chick yeah because if she's finer than that chick you will immediately feel better yeah. I promise you I promise you but uh, but and just also I know we said it earlier. But, oh, and if she put and if she puts out sooner than the other one does, that'll make you feel better too. Well, yeah. Uh, but uh, you you'll be like, who who was who? I don't even remember that person. You completely fucking forget their name. <laughs> yeah, sex has a way of making you forget that stuff. <laughs> At least temporarily. Um, but uh, no, man. But uh, but I mean, again, you know, I know I said it earlier, but uh, you know. Please don't do what you felt the girl did to you to somebody else. Don't do that shit to somebody else. Cause don't that, do it. Because that, that's painful and that just means that you're an embittered, lonely, evil person. So was don't... It, was, was he, what, and, and, and another thing it does, I mean, you know, and speaking the obvious here, but it perpetuates the cycle. Oh, it, absolutely. It, it keeps going. It Dude, perpetuates how many, the cycle. How it, many it, chicks do we know it makes fuck you over a, guys because they got fucked over by guys? Yeah, or or men who do that to women because for for whatever reason, you know. What I mean? Or or I tell you one that's even worse. How many dudes that we know will dog chicks out 
and keep doing it because they got away with it. Oh yeah, yeah, because because the chick, uh, because both women and men cannot be known. Uh, well, cannot be known. I'm an English major. That's terrible. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, there are men and women alike, depending upon their experiences. Some people um, will be more naive, and they won't notice that they're being played mm -hmm. uh, for quite a long time. That's why you know they have, and you know, uh, that's why they have friends telling them like, you know, hey man, you know. You, you should you shouldn't be doing this, but but really, I mean, all this type of stuff, you know, it's 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 not for someone to tell you. It's something that you got to go through, and then hopefully you'll understand it without turning into a bitter, jaded asshole. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, man. Um, that's um, that's it. Basically, it? yeah. I mean, you know, I, I'm I'm done. And um, preach, preach hot. <laughs> But, uh, so yeah, so, uh, I hope, I hope we were able to help y'all with this video. Hope we were able to, you know, I give you some so, advice, man. you know, share some of our stories that you know what, you know, uh, it's going to be okay, man. You, you know, you use our stories as examples, you know, uh, cause two different scenarios, two different scenarios, two different times, and circumstances, two and different that, circumstances, and all that jazz, you know, um, you're not alone in this man. Everybody at probably at most, some point at some point be they a man or a woman have gone through this. So yep. you're not alone. It's gonna be okay. You will move on eventually. 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 So um so with that being said, this is gonna conclude the first this is gonna This is gonna conclude the first advice, advice corner, corner video. Um, I want to thank you all for joining us again this week. In the comments below, leave your thoughts on this topic, maybe even some of your own stories, right. um, and give some of your own advice on this topic. And remember, for the Advice Corner topics, do not leave them in the comments. Email them to me at otakuassemble at gmail.com, and, uh, and week by week, you know, I'll pull one out, do mm -hmm. it, and, uh, and yeah, and that's how we'll keep this thing going. So... With that being said, this has been Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief. And Boris Duncan, thanks for having me. Signing off, and until next time, peace. Bye bye.